I'm Dominique Lavigne, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter. A hit and run crash here on the corner of Ming and South P Street left one woman dead and a family mourning. And now the Bakersfield Police Department confirmed an arrest has been made in this case. Hi, Mommy. Hi, yeah. Marina Johnson tells me her mom, Estela Andino, used to push her on the swings as a kid at Wayside Park. Hello. Now she does the same with her son, who she says will never get the chance to grow up with his grandmother. She has four daughters, and none of us thought we'd have to bury our mother before the age of 30. And we shouldn't have had to. The Bakersfield Police Department confirmed their officers arrested 26-year-old Eliezer Camancina Martinez on Wednesday in connection to the crash, which happened on April 13th. It's hard to just keep on thinking of how they told us like she was screaming for help. How could you, if you had a heart, how could you just leave her there? I reached out to Camancino Martinez, who told me over the phone the collision was an accident. But Estela Miranda, Andino's mother, disagrees. How could it be an accident if we hit somebody, run them over, and keep going? That's not an accident. Camancino Martinez also confirms he was arrested and released on bail. I'm never going to see my daughter. So why should he be out in the streets? He referred me to his lawyer, saying he didn't want to speak about the case any further. I will let you know that our client has no prior criminal record, and he has a lot of empathy and concern for the family for what had happened to them. According to BPD, of the eight pedestrian fatalities in 2024, seven of them were hit and run crashes. Compared to a year ago, BPD reports 17 pedestrian fatalities with four hit and run crashes. The crime is not hitting the lady. I think the, the accident was a, a combination of maybe both their faults, if not all her fault. Uh, the crime is if you leave the scene knowing you've been in an accident. And that's what we're still investigating at this time. Valdivia says her family hopes to see the man responsible taken into custody and put behind bars for a long time. Just like he didn't stop, we're not going to stop. Exactly. According to court records, no charges have been filed against Comencina so far. For 23ABC News, I'm Dominique Lavigne, your Bakersfield neighborhood reporter.